And thinking about the World Wide Web and interactivity, again, we're faced with this, the same thing. Uh, when you look at text on a web page, it's not always possible to tell the author's intent. And in fact, the, the work on the left is a work of art by Jody.org. And the work on the right is about uh, is a piece that is to help you organize the things that you want to do to create a social space where people can talk about, well, what is it that they want to accomplish and share their goals with other people and sort of report in as they're, um, as they're accomplishing these things. Now, um, the, I mean, that, that's interesting, but, um, but again, that doesn't become a work of art on itself. So I do want to talk first about the Jody.org piece. Um, in the, uh, in the, in the mid-90s, in the early 90s, uh, two artists came to this area, to the Silicon Valley, and did a residency out here at uh, the Cadre Laboratory for New Media. And when they returned to, uh, to Europe, they created this website. And I want you to look at this very closely because this is, um, when you first see it, it is, um, it looks like a bunch of blinking text on it, on the page. Um, and there's not, it's not immediately obvious what's going on. In fact, it's, it's really never obvious what's going on. But that's part of the nature of the World Wide Web. And as we scroll through it here, and you see that it just seems like um, it's, it's impossible to make heads or tails out of it, um, we see that um, when we look at the source code, though, it reveals another set of images. And this is part of the nature of the World Wide Web, in that um, every time something is presented to the viewer, there's another layer of code that travels along with it. And uh, frequently, a great deal of information is embedded within the code. Sometimes it's important, sometimes it's not. But as we look through the code here, we see what looks like the plans for a bomb. And as we, as we scroll in further to it, we see that it's a specific kind of bomb. It's the plans for a, a nuclear bomb. Now, um, now, what does that mean? Uh, what, it, what is it about? Um, is it interesting? When you start to roll through these questions, you start to see that there is definitely something more to this website than immediately meets the eye. There's really a lot of thought and consideration that's embedded in it. So my next example is by an artist by the name of Olia Lilina. And uh, she created this website in 1996. And it has, um, it, I mean, so it, it, uh, it suffers from a lot of the, the, the qualities that these early websites uh, took on. But it also has a real sort of beautiful cinematic cinematography to it, a real beautiful sort of structure to it that uh, creates a framework for your navigation. As you move through the site, as you click on the different, uh, the different links, and uh, the story is revealed piece by piece, um, you find out what's going on in the narrative. Now, you can go through this story many times in many different ways, but it sort of marshals you through it in that it uh, doesn't let you wander off to, into a blind alley. If you wander off into a blind alley with one, following one set of links, you always have the other set of links to follow. And thereby it reveals the entire story to you. Now, as cinematography, um, this is, is fairly weak. But as the person who is observing the story is actually driving it as well, it takes on uh, new meaning and uh, new intent in the, in the sense that if you don't like the way something is going, you can sometimes steer back from it. You can go in a different direction. Uh, the point is that the whole story gets told in the end as well.